हेलो नमस्ते सत्यकाल गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू द असिस्टेंट डॉक टॉक शो आई एम होस्ट एंड मॉडरेटर असिस्टेंट डॉक इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल इवनिंग इट्स डिजलिंग आउट थ्रू आउट द डे एट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द प्लेसेस एंड आल्सो द फ्रेगरेंस ऑफ फेस्टिवल हैज स्टार्टेड वी नो इट वेरी वेल दैट अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर दे आर द मंथ्स ऑफ फेस्टिवल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दशहरा टू क्रिसमस सो इंडिया इज द बेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड because of this of unity in diversity we fe- celebrate all the festivals together you can see this fragrance throughout the city now all the parks they are getting ready with all the cultural you know swings and all welcoming the festivals so today we have a very eminent and special guest present to day over here to discuss about a very special topic that is mathematics the how can we make mathematics the favorite subject of the students first of all the first eminent guest we have is present over here is from the ram ki nagri ayodhya miss vini singh ma'am she is the principal and founder and director of tini tots group of schools uh, i i met her for the first time but it was just a meeting like that we are we are knowing from very very many years she is so good she is do so down to earth and show so mixing nature that you cannot imagine that you are talking to her for the very first time you come across very few people like this who are so good welcome bini ma'am to the show thank you so much it was a pleasure meeting you thanks to the people who made me come to lucknow and meet you over there in the in the program uh, thank you so much ma'am you are a great personality afterwards i came to know you about the huge fan following you have so people calling me up please write link de dijiye ma'am ka show dekhna hai humne Bini ma'am, welcome. Thank you once again, and thank you so much for coming, ma'am. Ma'am, first of all, we will like to know about yourself. I mean, how did it? Are you from Ayodhya only, and uh, how did you came into this profession? And then from this profession, it might be you might have started from teacher and something like that, and then you came up to build up so many schools. I think five schools or whatever. How many schools you have? Over to you, ma'am. Please let us know about your of your educational journey. So, a wonderful evening to everyone. bringing the festivity into the mood yes when i i am from delhi and when i came to fezabad there were no good schools so when i had my children which was two and a half years old i was wondering where to put them and that's where i my mother was a teacher in uh, mount saint mary's in uh, delhi so i just asked her i said how do we go about it can we open up a nursery so she helped me out in uh, her uh, little books and a little uh, what you say um help uh, you know uh, little points where she could tell me how to go about with the school because i was basically a textile designer and never into education so she we started off with my in my out house and my in fact first my guest house and then in the out house i started off the school and once i reached class 5 i didn't want to continue but the parents actually wanted the school to go on because where would they like the children to go you know beyond class 5 and that's how i opened it in fact this is my 40th year of schooling so that's it and i was just 18 by the way when i just thought about school at an age of 19 i opened up with no experience my experience is all what i meet you and gain from everybody's knowledge and my day to day practical experience that's wonderful ma'am so how many schools do you have or uh, we days, have ma'am? five schools two of them are, are uh, um you know feeder schools like the preparatory schools as we call them one is a primary school one is at till 10th and one is till 12th so that's, that's wonderful that's wonderful ma'am that's wonderful i mean you started from the scratch and brought up five schools all are in ayodhya if i am right yeah no it's surrounding we have one in nawamganj one in radoli so those are the outskirts schools which we are the preparatory schools that's that's wonderful ma'am and you are bringing up education at that place is also where good education is not possible also That's wonderful, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's a pleasure having you on the show, ma'am. It's thank my you, pleasure ma'am. too to be interacting with such eminent people. Thank you. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Next, we have Dr. Parabjit Kaur, ma'am. She is the principal of a very prestigious institution, chain of schools, actually, Saint M R Jaipuriya, Sultanpur. Ma'am had been from my city, Kanpur, only, and had been moving to many places as a principal. She is a light writer, blogger. i don't know what what she has done so many things that she hasn't left anything for us thank you paranjit ma'am uh, dr uh, dr paranjit kaur ma'am uh, 
for coming up to the show and uh, i don't know much about you very much about you but still people will like to know about your educational journey uh, did you came into this profession by chance or by choice <laughs> and from a teacher to a senior principal ma'am and all whatever mm-hmm. you so many books you have written ma'am humko to likhna bhi nahi aata aaj tak yeah thank you so much and uh, just to mention that i am at pratapgarh sir i'm not in sultanpur yes. yes. sorry sorry pratapgarh yeah. yeah. yes so uh, this uh, first of all i would just like to uh, say that it is wonderful to uh, listen to ma'am and you know uh, uh, all the uh, i mean guests who are coming with so much of experience certainly they are adding value to this uh, talk show and i am also happy to be a part of it because there's so much to learn from you all so i'm just a small uh, you can say i'm just still budding up i'm still learning there is so much to uh, you know learn from the uh, teachers and from all our fellow i mean all the colleagues who are around with us so uh, one of the best parts of uh, you know the journey into education was this that i was a, a, at a very small age when i decided to be a teacher means those were the times when people used to talk of becoming an engineer and doctor and that is when i told my father that i want to be a teacher and there was a strict question from the family that why do you want to be a teacher i mean you know coming up with something ki jo kuch nahi ban pata hai wo teacher ban jata hai you know those were the kinds of uh, you know uh comments you can say which were coming up from so many people around and i said that no i i i think there is something there is a calling you can say and that calling was so strong that i decided that i will be i'll be moving into this field i'll be with children i'll be with people learning from them and then i started slowly learning i mean education has been a journey through learning so uh, learning continued and uh, you know still at this time if i keep learning i keep understanding i learn from my teachers i learn from my students and i've been continuous in this this process with so many i mean achievements on my name and apart from that you know talking of uh, the writing writing has added so much to my life sir i would specially mention this to you because writing has brought me closer to people because because it helps you share their feelings and you know then we can add value to the vocation that we are in so i'm really really happy to be a part of this talk show thank you so much for calling me here welcome welcome ma'am how many books you have till till date ma'am now this is the third book which i have written i've been writing journals actually so this okay. is the third big book which i have written yes very good ma'am excellent ma'am excellent ma'am so you will always find her in the social media with something or the other knowledgeable thing she is has been spreading all the time and i am a big fan follower of uh, paranjit kaur ma'am thank you ma'am and welcome once again ma'am thank you next we next we have uh, avni kamal sir uh, he is you know found everywhere in the in lucknow if you talk about avni kamal naam to suna hi hoga sir ki personality kuch aisi hai ki lucknow mein agar ho to avni kamal sir ka naam nahi suna kaise ho sakta hai Abhinav Kamal sir is the principal of uh, SDSN Public School Lucknow and jahan bhi jayega Lucknow mein Abhinav sir ko zarur paiyega he is so famous and he is so active up with all the he is handling the school also in all the other things social gathering also and everything so it i was fortunate to meet sir and have his number so that i may you know i was looking forward from last many months to call him but uh, fortunately or unfortunately i was not get uh, having his contact details so again on saturday again i met up one more personality of sir and i contacted and sir requested him to sir please come up to the show amni sir first, thank you so much for coming up to the show sir naam to sir jante hain sir lekin uh, we will like to know about educational journey because males usually they do not come to the education field and you have made up a, you have made up a established name as a senior principal So, sir, please let us. Uh, I mean, people should know your teachers or the people uh, who will be seeing this show should know about the principals and the directors that how they have done this. It is not easy. Like Bini, ma'am, it was not easy. She started up with a school, with a preschool, from a preschool to five schools. Like uh, you are coming up to the and you know the teachers. When we were teachers, we used to say, okay, she is coming in a car and sitting in this office. बहुत मजे हैं इसके. So the karma is that now we have become the principals and we are able to know that what maja is, what what 
good times we have when we are a principal or looking after the school so this should also come forward to the you know the uh, teachers who want to become administrators over to avni sir please let us know about your education uh, journey greeting to all educational it is pleasure to see you all on same one platform thanks to mr chando who brought all us together who brought all of us together and we will have one full one hour to discuss about the mass now journey of my life is that from since 1986 i am in teaching profession this is true that 90% person, person don't want to become a teacher this is true the doctor said correct i was an insurance company as an insurance agent 8426 then 86 were one of uh, uh, we can say one of my friend called me on the part like it's a part leave or leave vacancy job three month for three months in cms managa branch in that is in 86 three years initially i was reluctant but when i joined cms managa as a leave vacancy teacher for three months then i found interest in teaching i started loving the children from there my career starts first three months that don't leave vacancy then they may be permanent they don't want to leave after that i joined the martinia boys then jaipuria school then principal this is total 33 years journey and it is true that principal job is not very easy every day we are having new challenges today we thought ki acha ye kaam ho gaya tomorrow next challenge the after tomorrow next challenge and as a principal we should know the solution of the challenge then you are a successful person otherwise we cannot face those challenges if we will not solve judicially amicably and with the parents parents coordination is very important for running the school this i have found i love teaching still i take classes in class 11 12 i love maths along with mr honorable ml agrawal i have written one book in 2014 he is a great mathematician mr ml agrawal i hope everyone know about him so he loves me as his younger brother mr ml agrawal and i have written one book with mr ml agrawal 2014 presently i am in lucknow all cbsc school principals are my good friend Whenever we are meeting, we all used to go together. Number of times we have Pindi Singh Ma'am also in our meeting. Whenever Saudi meeting, B C Pindi Singh Ma'am used to come. This is a greatness that she always come in Lucknow and attend all the functions. I really appreciate Pindi Singh Ma'am, and it's a great pleasure to meet you all. I am a principal. Every day, new thing. This I can say. So, Pindi Ma'am, are you from uh, basically from Lucknow? There might be some connection that मेरा तुझसे है पहले का नाता कोई लखनऊ से कोई नाता है दिल्ली से लेकिन दिल वाले हैं ना तो सबसे नाता जोड़ लेते अरे वाह 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 वेरी एक्सीलेंट 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर अवनी सर एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन नेक्स्ट वी हैव अमृता धनई मैम शी इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सैनिक सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल बाराबंकी वेलकम मैम uh thank first of all thank you so much for coming up to the show ma'am we you will also have come for the first time to the show please yes, let sir. us know about your educational journey ma'am yeah good evening everyone uh, as sir introduced my name also that i am mrs amrita tanai and i am wife of colonel vivek singh tanai so uh, as uh, my husband is an army so i have worked in various army public schools of india so i am having almost 17 to 18 years experience but yes of course at army public school lee i got opportunity to join as a principal then after that my loop was changed then after uh, there i worked as a principal four years then after that uh, here uh, jodhpur when i got posting then i i worked as a principal in dhirkir senior secondary school then again we i got my posting to lucknow which is my home place also i am born and brought up here only so uh, here i just joined this uh, sanic uh, senior secondary public school are there ma'am i 
I think there's some connectivity problem. Okay, let by the time uh, ma'am comes back, we'll come up to the next guest, uh, Mr. Nirmal Shah, who is the co-founder of Counting Well. Sir is the expert of today, although he doesn't say himself as an expert, because when we have good uh, math background teachers from here, so, uh, you know, there's always a good discussion. Hey, sir is the co-founder of Counting Well, a math learning app for middle schoolers. Their goal is to make math learning easy, anxiety-free mm -hmm. and uh, participative for children across the country. Their focus is to help the so-called average students become more confident with maths and develop great uh, problem-solving skills. They step in where school teachers are not able to provide personalized attention due to lack of time and bandwidth. He's also have designing career lessons based uh, for the age group of 10 to 14, built around mathematics. Their funda is that kids must know that maths matter and it will matter throughout their life. The best way to do that is to show them how. So basically to start up this season, uh, the main aim was that we had been seeing from ages that, uh, you know, up till grade five children, they enjoy mathematics, especially when they start up with the middle school, when the syllabus increases geometry or whatever it comes in, they start having phobia of mathematics. So what are the reasons behind it and what are, you know, uh, remedies for it? This is what we're going to discuss today. Mr. Nirmal Shah, I met him in one of the one of the session where he was as a co speaker and I requested him, sir, please join us and let us know about what are these AI based things they are coming up and how can they help the teachers? Because always we had been seeing that the teachers they say that a 40 students class with 40 minutes class, we cannot pay at the personal attention to the students. So how we can make it more effective? We had been seeing that the first two or three or four students, the toppers, they say yes, the, the rest of the class is blank. So how we can improve the level of mathematics? This is what we are going to discuss today. Nimal, sir, once again, thank you so much for coming up again. Sir, first of all, again, I'd like to ask you, how did you have that courage? Because many of the principals, they said, we'd love to come to your show, but without mathematics, no, Baba, na. We'll come up to another another topic, but maths, we won't come. Our time, we had that phobia. And how can we talk about that? I do not know anything about mathematics. So there, and at the very same time, some of the principals came in and said, no, we had that phobia in our times, but we want to remove it amongst our students now. As, an, as a leader, we need to take care of all the subjects. I am a commerce teacher, accounts teacher, but I have to take care of maths also. I have to take care of you know physics also and chemistry also. So likewise, uh, uh, we try to understand that why it is, why it is, what is the reasons and how can we remove that. Nebel, sir, again, I'll come back to you, sir. Please let us know that how did it came into your mind to start up this project and uh, people had been going with different topics, but you had the courage of starting up with mathematics and that to it, the middle school, sir. Over to you, sir. So thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be on your show. I meet great people, stellar people, and you know it's it's always uh, wonderful to be learning from the company of uh, uh, these educators that we have here. So thank you again. I I appreciate you inviting me rather than the other way around. So uh, why we started counting well was a very uh, interested and a long winded story. To be honest, uh, you know I come from an IT background. I was the managing director of a software services company and uh, i was also managing the global delivery operations of that company and i i was part of that for almost uh, 16 17 years and during my tenure what i saw was that i used to do a lot of hiring from iits especially and i've been to all the old iits new iits you know right from guwahati and Rurki to goa and uh, mandi and one common thread which I found in most of these places when we interviewed uh, the students to hire them was that when we interviewed them on very basic math, you know, what I call as common sense math, we found that a lot of them were lacking. So they knew a lot of formulas, you know, you could ask them mathematical formulas and they would rattle it off. And of course, uh, you know, in other areas around computing and all, they would be pretty comfortable. But when we went really down below and try to understand what are that you know common sense very basic logical analytical skills we started finding the gaps and of course i cannot say that uh, it is really 
that the gaps have come at IIT level because by then they've really come too far, actually speaking, right? Uh, and what I have observed is that when they get into the IITs, you know, whether it is JE or any other entrance exams, the focus is given on speed, you know, how quickly you can answer, how accurately you can get the correct answer. So all that attention is given to those kind of things. What I found lacking was the very basic level of understanding, which was missing. So something very simple, like if you ask them whether, you know, do you know that ratios and percentages and fractions and decimals are one and the same thing, you can use them interchangeably. Many of them would actually argue with me and say that, no, you cannot, but actually you can. So uh, that's when I realized that it, it is very basic math. And this is at the school level where these kind of ideas should be inculcated. They should know these kind of things and they have not developed. Then I saw my own uh, going from primary school to middle school. And when I saw that, what I realized is that uh, his attitude towards all the subjects, you know, especially towards math was changing drastically. And of course, we can also attribute some of that to, you know, him, him getting into the adolescence and all that. But also what I observed was that particularly when it came to math, the enthusiasm which he had in terms of doing his homework and in terms of coming home and com quickly finishing the work which is assigned to him, that was very, very different. It started waning. And when I started looking at the way he was trying to solve the problems, he was still trying to associate a problem with a formula and say, okay, if I apply this formula, I will get this right. If I apply this formula, I will get this right. And the focus was always on getting that final answer correct. What I realized is that in the sixth grade onwards, they start getting word problems. They start getting problems where multiple concepts are getting mixed. And when it came to answering questions on their own. So if, if a question is given at the end of a chapter, he would know that this is related to this chapter. I would apply this formula. But if you just ask him that question, he would not be able to solve that problem very easily. And I could sense that this whole maths anxiety and phobia was developing from that. And of course, as a parent, I also made a mistake of saying that, you know, maths is a very important subject. You should know maths. Why are you not knowing this? And I'm sure that that contributed to that phobia. And today I might regret it, but you know, I, I could realize that this is something which was also contributing to it all. So what I realized as when I went through all of that experience is that when children try to solve maths problems, especially when they get to middle school and above, what is taught in the classroom is still focused on formulas, definitions, properties, theorems, calculations, but when they go to the exams, the kind of questions they have is word problems. They have questions which are combining multiple concepts and they have to actually start thinking of strategy to solve a problem. And in the classroom, nobody taught them strategy. They just taught them that use this theorem, use this formula and you will get the answer. So that's where the gap was. And, you know, coming from an IT background, uh, I spoke with my co-founder who's a friend of mine from more than 20 years. And we said, can we create some kind of assessment to identify if really these are the gaps or what are these kind of gaps which the children are facing? You know, we, we come from that whole data analysis kind of mindset. So we said, can we capture data? Can you find these things out? And we created a series of assessments to identify these sort of learning gaps. We went to a few schools and we requested them if we can do some pilots and uh, you know, four schools in Delhi actually uh, allowed us to do that. And this was almost four years back, about 1500 students took our assessments. And when we did those, uh, we got the same results that we were kind of seeing anecdotally with our children, other children in the neighborhood, that comprehension, uh, language comprehension is a big, big problem. They are not able to understand the problems. And that's why they are not even able to get to start solving the problems. The second problem they had was on being able to define a strategy to solve a problem. If they can't define a strategy, where is the question? So it's more of not even not defining a strategy, but that whole thought process was not there. They did not think about pausing and understanding the problem, pausing and thinking of a strategy. They straight away jumped into number operations. They thought that if I just do addition, multiplication, division, something, I will get the answer. And that that's where the gaps were. So we went with back to the principals. We showed them these reports and they were very impressed. They said, yeah, you know, we have seen all this happen. But the problem is that you guys are amongst thousands of people who come and say that education is broken. These are the problems. They all keep showing us the problems. Nobody comes with a solution. So that's when the whole idea of counting was born. 
we said that we cannot simply list out the problems and go to the school we have to create a solution which involves the school which involves the children and which makes that whole learning process very engaged and fun for the child you know so that uh, our ultimate goal is for not for them to score 100% marks but for them to be able to develop confidence that yes when it comes to maths i can do it i can achieve something i can learn on my own so that's that was the start for counting well that's wonderful sir one thing more that incident you told us that a grade 8 to a teacher was given the same assessment so yes uh, so what happened is when we were doing these pilots the principals uh, said that can you give the same assessment to our teachers right so can you uh, can you tell our teachers uh, to take the same kind of assessment and out of curiosity we also did that very very enthusiastically about 15 teachers took these assessments and one thing we found is that the kind of gaps that the children had even the teachers were showing the same kind of gaps so that was kind of uh, you know we realized that it's kind of natural that you know whatever misconceptions and gaps are coming to the children they are really coming from teachers but another very interesting thing that we found is one of the teachers called me and said that i am an eighth grade teacher the problem here that you have is a sixth grade problem and i cannot solve this problem so it was like you know eighth grade teacher saying ki ye to mere syllabus se bahar hai and we were very surprised and shocked at the same time but what we realized is that uh, also that the teachers are so boxed in with the kind of content and with the amount of uh, work that they have that they just cannot think beyond that if they have to complete this chapter or this concept today then their focus is only on that they do not even focus beyond that so where is the question of you know thinking about language comprehension thinking about past misconceptions and all of those they themselves are carrying so much of that baggage with them and there is no way that they can help children overcome this baggage so you know that was an eye opener for us and that was also uh, one of the reasons why uh, we said that we believe that when we create counting well we have <coughs> include teachers and schools in this process we cannot keep it stand alone only for children that's wonderful moreover sir this is all, uh, this is also useful for the children and for the te- for the teachers also and talking about the teachers just now as you were saying that the maths teacher of grade 8 was saying this is a problem of grade 6 i cannot solve it because i am a teacher of grade 8 because she had been doing it traditionally now the problem is that the first problem which has come up till now Uh, from the previous sessions also what i know is that the teachers the way they have learned at their time they are trying to give it forward the same way which is not useful you have to change the method as of now so this is also reason to there it comes that a training of the teachers should also should also be there i hope you people give training also to the teachers sir yeah so we do a very detailed orientation in fact one very interesting thing happened just last week that one of the teachers uh, of a school which just started using our platform uh, she came back and said you know what uh, all this uh, homework and diagnostic assessment and all these things you guys have is very nice but yesterday i went through the chapter myself and that helped me prepare for the next class so she actually logged in as a student she went through the whole uh, session as if a student would do it and that actually helped her get ready for the next session in the classroom so that was very interesting that's wonderful sir and let me tell you all sir is providing this app free of cost to all the schools i think for lifetime for lifetime for you know whichever school signs up this year uh, because you know one of the things which also came up when we started talking to schools we started doing this in january this year and so one yeah. thing we heard was that everybody came and said that uh, you know covid ke baad aap aa rahe ho we cannot yes stay. right all these guys so we realized that theek hai i mean we can always uh, you know make our money next year next year next year and we will of course but uh, this year we decided that whichever school signs up in a way it helps us as well because you know we get a good uh, mass of schools but at the same time uh, we want to make sure that we are contributing by uh, starting at no cost absolutely right sir because after pandemic the pandemic management they don't want to spend money on these type of things because they do not know the importance of all these things we as an educationists know that but it is very difficult to you know uh, make them understand but if it is free they'll get over this they'll say that you can go ahead with that and this is what we have to understand that what are these things because so many people are coming to our schools with a visiting card and we are not able to understand what is right and what is wrong thank you so much nirmal sir we'll also like to know some other things also 
but in the later part of the session. Thank you so much. We'll come on to the next uh, round. I won't call it as a uh, question round. I'll call it as a suggestion round. I'll come up to Bini ma'am. Bini ma'am, in your opinion, why do middle school students lose interest in mathematics? So um, that's great. I think you've hit it on the nail. But let's start off from the beginning. What happens when a child is admitted in nursery class or one of the preparatory classes? We take so much of interest in teaching them all these numbers and uh, small uh, additions. In a way, a lot of playway method in a in a fun way, and the children enjoy learning, whether it is A B C D or uh, the alphabets and the numbers. Let's move ahead to the primary level. That's a level again we mix and match with a lot of games, a lot of activities, a lot of fun things. And the teachers enjoy teaching the students and the students also look forward to maths. In fact, when I speak to my children and I said, why don't you like maths? They only say that it, you have to use your brains when we do maths. So, but in English, we do not you need to know the brains because we just read and we know what to do and we can find the answers. But in my maths, I need to do the, uh, use my intelligence. Well, that also they enjoy. But somewhere down the line, I feel that's where things are going a little murky. The children are, the parents do are not good in maths. As everybody says, maths is not everybody's cup of tea. And from the beginning, somewhere the parent uh, tells the child, maths chitra panna, because isme ye sabse zaruri hai. Isme jada time do. Are tumne maths ka homework nahi karna hai, English ka chhod do beshak. So that concept is not very healthy for the child's growth. Now, the child starts for concentrating on the maths, but he doesn't like it because he's already been told it is a very important subject. You need not fail in it. You need to be, be careful about it. You need to be wary about it. So all those things bring down his enthusiasm. Now he has to just uh, sort of focus on maths as an excellence. Let's move a little ahead. Now, when we say we are moving a little ahead, now the children have been, um, been a little comfortable. I won't say are doing exemplary well, but are comfortable with maths. And for them, maths is uh, no rocket science. And then they move on to the sixth, seventh, eighth. Now, that's where the math gets tougher. When the maths gets tougher, what do our teachers do? They do not tell them the, what is the concept. Do they add up? to fifth class and sixth class, sixth class to seventh class, do they make it a rupti, you know, um, a, uh, make a bridge between the two? How many of them, I know children are a little wary when they suddenly say, Ab chemistry bhi aagya, uh, sorry, algebra, aagya, there's a geometry also, and the children Yes, ma'am. Sorry, sorry, I just had uh... no problem. Mm. So uh, generally what happens is that this is the time when the, chil the, the, uh, the, when the children move to this class. Now the teachers never make it a fun thing. They never make it. Even tell them that. It's important for them that they, why do they like a theorem, Pythagoras theorem, why did it come, who made it, who were, a, who were a mathematician, why did certain concepts come into being, can, you, they, can they weave a story about it, can they tell us about it, how was it, and uh, can the children, uh, um, you know, sort of find an interest to it, have we ever told our children that all of them are so much involved with their, um, their these games, video games, what they play. And there they say, uh, suppose a car racing is there and they know what speed they go, they have to turn around, what speed they should be going so that, you know, they do not have a fall. All that is maths. But can't we make us in, uh, our studying studies as interesting as a car race? Can't we make the teaching more likable now? Let's come back to what the teachers and the schools say. This is, I would say, what the students need to be dealt with. But somewhere down the line, our syllabuses are not planned. Our teachers are not planned. We have a teacher training for B.Ed. 
we have a teacher training for nursery teachers do we have a teacher training for the primary level do we have a teacher training for a middle level or the highest highest uh, you know higher school level after the school the college level training no we do not have them teachers there the government should have modules for teaching uh, like a right from nursery teachers training lower kg training uh, sorry primary training middle school training and for on another very important factor is that these teachers they should be undergoing a, a training not only a training program but they should be told to have two years of sub giving the services to the rural or somewhere where they can practice now if a teacher wants to grow from a primary to a middle school that is the time he can take another course and equip himself now are our teachers equipped to face these 10 year old very well said by vimal sir when he said that the teacher said this we have teachers uh when you tell a, a pgt teacher go and teach in class 6 what he says is no ma'am main pgt padha sakta hu main chote bachcho ko nahi padha sakta they don't have an aptitude to teach but what i won't say in prior in prime uh, uh, private schools but what happens in the government schools the same teachers are recruited as primary school teachers now that's where things go wrong that's where you know neither the 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 our schools are functioning well nor these government primary schools are functioning well because that teacher is misfit for primary and we have let go of a good teacher who no has an attitude and aptitude to teach a senior school coming back all to this so i think we must have a lot of games with problem solving skills we must have a lot of games with where the children can have a little bit of mental maths a little bit of um you know having games activities and making them uh, forerunners in being uh, you know in charge of the maths club yes. i have a t lab in my school and there the students are the bank the students are also buying from there what is happening they're learning all these concepts have you taken the children to the vendors and seen how the vendors when sabji kharidte and they say ek pao itna aadha kilo itna ek kilo itna do we tell the children see the child is doing so well let's give him a little boost or have we had activities where we tell the children go to the market see the prices see the weight compare it that's where learning all starts <clears throat> and i don't think maths is supposed to be taken as something which everybody needs to do it but yes it is a that's life skill right. which needs to be incorporated in the system so a survivor has to be done because you know your maths and that's what is important that's wonderful ma'am that's wonderful uh, you have given the gist of mathematics uh, and what i came to know about the gist about your saying is that maths is everywhere in your life all the time even if you are cooking also they you need they you need mathematics so up 24 into 7 you are math- using mathematics but you are not realizing and uh, this is what has to be done and the second thing i have taken out from your words is that Uh, you know the playway method is not confined to pre primary only the playway method should be from pg to grade 12 that is very necessary to make it more interesting and practical thank you so much ma'am thank we'll you. come to we'll come up to dr paranjit kaur ma'am ma'am we will also uh, like to know from you that when children reach middle schools they start having fear of math- mathematics what are some of the reasons behind it ma'am so i'll start with something which uh, been observing since years and as student also and you know, sometimes i go to the classes uh, since i've been teaching variety of subjects to children and uh, whenever i go and meet her uh, meet the, meet the students i just uh, tell them that i know that you have a lot of burden on your shoulders because you are learning so many subjects during the day i mean six subjects in one day let us say five subjects in one day so imagine the amount of pressure which they are already struggling with they are i mean they are sitting at a place maybe they are moving for 15 minutes 20 minutes or half an hour they are around but then again they are sitting with variety of subjects and usme sabse bhari subject kaun sa hota hai mathematics ha huh? even the parents say so koi baat nahi you can do english later pehle to maths padh lo so that is such an important subject whereas when we talk to the students as uh, teachers 
we tell them that every subject is important and it is there in your life you can see it all around you so ye jo basic concept hai why middle school children are losing it kyunki sir aap dekhiye wo primary se they are going to the middle school aur uske baad unko senior mein jana hai sir basic work which is to be done is in the middle school because till primary they are already giving getting the play way, uh, way of learning i mean they know that they'll be learning through various games i mean we have uh, n number of games for these small kids to make them learn numbers but as soon as they come to class 6 7 and 8 they are learning the concepts and what happens there is that we tell them ki abhi ab time ye aa gaya hai ki start writing on the notebook and start learning so we don't teach them mathematics in their way we actually ask them to mug up mathematics that is where is the problem we don't have to tell them that in fact you know i'll tell you when i go for a mathematics class i tell the students that we'll solve the entire question your word problem in air so ek chhota sa concept zarur dungi problem hai but then maine ek concept design kiya hai apne school mein jisse main bolti hu ki hum hawa mein padhenge ye mera tarika hota hai i tell my kids hum hawa mein padhenge maths ko और आप सारे सवाल हवा में सॉल्व करेंगे लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू दैट वन ऑफ माई वेज इज दैट वी क्लोज दी बुक्स एंड वी सॉल्व एवरी थिंग इन एयर आई मीन वी आर टॉकिंग एंड वी आर सॉल्विंग वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड वी आर सॉल्विंग कि हम ये क्यों करने जा रहे हैं वॉट इज देशिक आइडिया बिहाइंड पुटिंग इन अ कंसेप्ट सो दैट इज द वे द चिल्ड्रन स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग जब सर हम बर्डन की तरह देंगे तो फिर तो वो रटेंगे ही ना फिर तो उनको दर्द ही होगा ना सर क्योंकि जबरदस्ती आ रहा है सबसे ज्यादा उनको प्रेशर कब आता है जब उनको कोई चीज रटनी पड़ती है बाकी चीजें तो इजी आ रही हैं सो दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव बीन यू नो ऑब्जर्विंग जबकि आई स्लोली आई आल्सो टेल यू दैट नाउ वी आर चेंजिंग द टीचर्स आर चेंजिंग द कंसेप्ट आर चेंजिंग मेथड्स ऑफ टीचिंग आर ऑल्सो चेंजिंग i mean i am talking of the interdisciplinary uh, projects which are coming in with the subject or 6 to 8 mein bahut acche implement hote hain wo agar hum use karna chahe to it will be very easy for the children to learn mathematics so this is one of the things which i would like to suggest to all the educationists please fall into the process of this interdisciplinary projects because that is one place where you know we we are able to give them a way of learning which they prefer the children they prefer that way of learning unko sir unke tarike se sikhana hai hum zabardasti kar rahe hain unke sath ye zabardasti nahi karni hai kyunki mujhe mathematics aise hi padhani hai to main aise hi padhungi ye nahi mujhe mathematics waise padhani hai jisse unko samajh mein aaye jis cheez ko aap thopenge the kid will surely run away from that who accept nahi karega usko so let us give them a way of life right. a way of learning absolutely Thanks. right absolutely right ma'am Uh, it should be a teacher, uh, not a teacher-oriented class. It should be a child-oriented class. And the second thing is, we have to make it very interesting for them. We have to make it very interesting. And the most important thing, what you were saying was right. That you know, the parents who have that had that phobia in their times, maths karo beta. Maths what difficult thing is. Roj nahi karo ke samajh mein nahi aayegi. Maths difficult hai beta. So all the time when you're repeating that same thing, maths difficult hai, difficult hai. उसने कुछ तो इसमें डिफिकल्ट है तो दैट बिकम्स स्लोली स्टडी दैट बिकम्स यू डोंट यू नो वी हैव टू बिहेव इट इन अ नॉर्मल वे दैट ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स आर ऑलमोस्ट द सेम सो दिस इज आल्सो इफ यू वुड परमिट आई जस्ट वांटेड टू से समथिंग आई रिमेंबर वन टीचर सर दिस इज लॉन्ग टाइम बैक एंड आई हैड दिस वंडरफुल गर्ल विद मी एंड यू नो शी यूज्ड टू गो टू टीच मैथ्स इन क्लास 8 आई बिलीव एंड व्हेनेवर शी यूज्ड टू गो देयर शी ऑलवेज टोल्ड द चिल्ड्रन दैट व्हाट आर यू अफ्रेड ऑफ in animals i mean talking of animals around us and the children will say, would say we are scared of uh, dogs so she always said that mathematics is like dog because you know you are running away from it so it is making you run why don't you turn around and you know uh, confront the problem i mean once you stand around and stare in in the eyes of the dog it will be scared of you you know i really love that thing and i always felt that we must teach our children to confront instead of running away with the subject let us confront and see that yes we can do it thank you sir thank yes. you so much thank you so much ma'am uh, paranjit ma'am we'll come up to avni sir avni sir as you are a maths teacher so please suggest few ways uh, which can be implemented by the teachers of our schools to make maths 
the favorite subject ha ah, so as jo bola says in an excellent book the elephant in the classroom mathematics play mathematics plays a unique role in the learning of most student it is a subject that can make them feel both helpless and stupid maths more than any other subject has the power to crush students confidence and to deter them from learning important methods and tools for many years to come as ma'am said ki this is true parents are saying but a maths kar lo daily maths kar lo daily maths kar lo ye subject baad mein karna maths kar lo to dheere dheere bachcho mein slowly slowly they started hate maths they started hate that subject when parents are forcing number 1 number 2 we have seen this number of children are having maths phobia from the childhood kya hota hai ki their concepts are not clear properly teachers are not explaining properly particular method they tell you just you learn it you learn the solution teachers are writing the solution the blackboard i have seen number of teachers they solve the question write on the blackboard tell the children learn the solution the children are cramming the solution if they miss one figure the one miss step they get zero so this is the thing that cramming of mathematics solution should avoid it in the classes i have seen in middle schools number of teachers they are just writing the solution the blackboard and tell telling the children learn the solution cram the solution which we have to avoid this is the first thing which i have to discuss that mathematics solution should not be learned it should be explained from where we have got this step number 2 next when we are explaining in the class it is the duty of a mathematics teacher that every student should be involved we are doing we are solving the question irrespective students are paying attention or not so it is our duty to see that every student is paying attention in the class or not and sometimes we should take round in the class that students sitting on the last bench are they copying are they understanding and after explaining the solution we have to take feedback we have to ask from the children beta how we have got the step how we have got the step we have to see what we explain in the class our children are grasping or not if they are not grasping our teaching no use of what we teach in that class so this is the second third we have to encourage the children for mistake making let them solve the question let it be wrong but let them solve the questions we have to give them space we have to encourage them solve the question let it be wrong we as a teacher say to correct your mistake so first encourage mistake making this is the next point then we have to see we have to remove their myths ki maths is a subject that we cannot do because number of parents are having this myth ki maths is very tough subject so mera bachcha maths nahi kar payega nowadays cbse also has implemented standard mein basic maths basic maths children cannot take maths in senior class 11 12 so it means we all are realizing that there is a different iq level of children in mathematics this number of mathematicians have realized but we have to see that every child sitting in the class should take interest there are number of ways to create interest in the class sometimes we can have quizzes in the class sometimes we can take this we can take children smart class and we can explain through smart class 3d figures are there like we can say geometry or solid geometry if we teach through smart class with 3d figures that will clear the concepts more better if we teach uh, using the chalk, chalk and blackboard so sometimes we have to see how to explain sometimes we have to take the model in the class now i cbsc has made mandatory that every school has every school should have maths laboratory so Mac- 90% schools are having maths laboratory where we are having the models different type of shape different type of cones we can say there is a blackboard where we can magnetic blackboard which we can block can be 
expect that that we can a plus b all square a square plus b square plus so there different formulas we can derive through this so until and unless will not clear the concept children will not understand they will not take interest in mathematics this is the reason we are lacking behind and lot of efforts people are doing cbsc also planning that teachers so lot of trainings are going i am also resource person for joyful mathematics by pointed by cbsc to take the sessions and tell the teachers how to make maths interesting because until all these concepts are not clear children not take interest we have to motivate the children to take interest in maths so we have to clear this myths that me i'm saying you will pay parents bhi kehte hai hamara bachcha maths nahi kar payega we have to create a love for maths we have to create that atmosphere in the class that every child should love right sir the child is very weak and he is he or she step one step then we should award let children should clap in the class i is bachche ne dekhi ye step bilkul sahi kiya hai let everyone should clap child will feel ki ha maine bahut acha kiya then he or she will do next step then slowly slowly they will take starting interest so we have to create interest among the student as a motivation teacher because i am mentoring since the last 34 years and my duty is to create interest every in every child this i feel that's all that's wonderful that's wonderful sir sir and there are many teachers also the child child has done the question in another method answer is also right but he'll he or she will cut it and say nahi jo is method se maine kaha tha that method is right otherwise it is wrong sir i'll take so that type of teacher yes sir i'll take one minute i am a coach of examiner so i say mathematics so when 50 teachers sitting in one room and correcting the copies so uh, as you know there are number of solutions of integration and differentiation teacher some teachers don't know other solution they cut the solution sir ye bachche ne ye tarike se galat kiya i said we have number of solutions you should be aware all the solutions of question then you should be examiner then you should be teacher so teachers know only one method and they are checking the board copied by that method the child is the other method they give zero this is really pathetic uh, as teachers i can see Sir, you are muted. Please. Uh, that 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 is very that is very important, sir. I had been a competency teacher, so when the students used to come in grade eleven, because it was a new subject, so yeah. I used to ask them, "How is the competency? It is difficult." Uh, so I used to say that, "Better this is the easiest subject on that." So it is just like a doctor when a patient is coming up. You say, "Kuch bhi nahi hua," you would be very well, right. very well. Kuch bhi nahi hua. Correct. So that is also needed, and you have to make it interesting also. Thank you so much, sir. Abhi, sir. I'll come up to uh, Amrita, ma'am. Amrita, ma'am, we'll also like to know from you that how does technology helps in making maths more interesting and easy? Uh, firstly, sir, I apologize for that. My battery was gone. Actually, no problem. No problem, ma'am. No problem. Time. So, according to me, uh, maths is everywhere. As you said, maths is everywhere. So, for me, also, maths is everywhere. And life is a digital platform. If we see each and every step, we can see maths. i am sitting on the chair i am i am having 90 degree uh, position with me i am having i am talking to you it's a 1 180 degree position with you and with my phone so if we want to see maths it everywhere so generally uh, what happened ki uh, we are since we are talking about digital platforms so before digital platform jab ki digital platform tha nahi to main bachcho ko hamesha bolti thi ki bachcho soch ko aage rakho 3d mein imagine karo 3D may imagine karo question ko when you will read question twice you will get solution itself solution khud ba khud mil jayenge aap you see, if you see maths everywhere you will find your answer automatically so uh, though we are having a smart classes we are having so many technologies to use this uh, to use uh, to understand this mathematical concept though i know that technology provides additional opportunities for learners to see and interact with mathematical concept the students can explore um, and make uh, make various of things with like uh, games uh, simulations and the uh, digital tools it's actually an excellent platform for teachers actually because with this they can use it in a brief way if a teacher is planning her lesson plan and if the teacher is uh, planning it in a split uh, lesson plan kind of thing 
and the chapter which she is going to teach on the next day and the teacher can provide the same lesson on their on their uh, whatsapp group or whatever groups that they have created so they can tell students that please go through with that and just uh, read those all things and come to school then you are not blank with that chapter so this is one of the very good thing which is very good in the digital platform if child will go and just go through with that chapter once the child is having at least some idea about that chapter and after that when teacher is teaching in the class definitely teacher will do very well because child is knowing so much thing about that chapter so according to me yes digital platform is very important and the smart classes of course according to we all are aware that we all are having a smart classes and we know that for mathematics and for science also it's very good to um, and make is very good for students to make them understand the concept very clearly and what is most important uh, in my uh, mathematics uh, uh, skill that's when i go to my class what i do i generally relate that chapter with day to day activity i generally uh, show them all those things with the play way learning suppose i am teaching fraction in my class then before fraction i used to tell i used to uh, tell them please uh, make a and some project on that please make some flap on that then so then they will come to know how this fraction work so for me if we are going with this way so and uh, this using of digital platform so that uh, this digital platform will help us apart कंसेप्ट क्लेरेशन यस अभी जो हमारी बिनी मैम ने एक चीज बोली थी इट्स रियली क्लियर वेरी वेरी नाइस कि बच्चों के पास टीचर्स जो हमारी स्किल्ड नहीं है जो इस वे में पढ़ाएं और उनको जो है चीजों को इलेबरेट या उनको डिलीवर करने का प्रॉपर नॉलेज हो सो इट्स रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गिव दम टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग दो आई एम ऑल्सो गिविंग दम बाई माई ओन ओनली आई ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड दम डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड वेन एवर आई एम टीचिंग दम i want to uh, uh, i want that my whole class whatever 12th class or 10th class or 11th class mathematics students definitely uh, part, take part in that with my math teacher so jo main teacher ko bata rahi hu i want ki unse kuch points bacche agar khud leke karte hain to kuch na kuch points unko khud ba khud samajh mein aate hain ki okay ma'am ne ye bola hai ki youtube mein ye link dekhna hai aur the bachcho ko padhana hai to bacche khud ja ke us cheez ko dekhte hain aur usko understand karte hain तो so, मेरे हिसाब से डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म सबसे अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म है मैथमेटिक्स को अंडरस्टैंड कराने के लिए क्योंकि इस वे में बच्चे को उसके सारे सेंसेस यूज हो रहे हैं ऑल सेंसेस दे आर यूजिंग दे आर यस दे आर लिसनिंग दे आर वाचिंग दे आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड दे आर थिंकिंग आल्सो कि हाउ आर दीज थिंग्स वर्किंग बेसिकली अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ऑल्सो एज सर ऑल्सो सेट दैट लर्निंग एनी फॉर्मूला इज नॉट अ सोल्यूशन it's very important to understand how it uh, you can deliver this formula in your projective way because if you are solving any question in any any competitive exam definitely you are not getting the same question whatever you are having in your concept book so you should know how to go and how to create that answer when you are able to create that question by yourself right ma'am so uh, so according to me i generally prefer I generally tell, I generally, uh, I tell my students, please create question and right. make varieties of question for whatever you can make. Right. 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 and uh, when we were talking i was just remembering paramjit ma'am said that a green grocer coming in your lane and you asking different quantities of vegetables 250 g of this 50 g 500 g of this 1 kg of this so that illiterate person with a fraction of seconds will tell you how much amount you have to pay but it will give this in word problem to a student so they will not be able to solve it very properly because they know only that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab but correct. but why But why a square plus b square plus two ab? That this why is not being cleared, and this is the reason that. It, and the same thing Nirmal sir said that he had been interviewing 
the ITNs who I had from different places, they were very good at direct mathematics, but when logical mathematics was not clear. So that logical mathematics should be clear. This is this is the base. Then logical mathematics is clear. Of course, you know the working or the doing the questions will be possible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. We'll come up to Nilma sir, Nabal sir, as an expert. First of all, uh, the first round. What are your comments? What everyone said? Please tell us the working of these type of apps because so many people they come up with different things. How it is helping the students and bringing down the burden of the teachers also, sir. Sure, sir. So very interesting comments from everybody. But I think uh, the common thread or the common goal of what everybody said, I what I noticed was that you know ultimately it all boils down to ki, are we able to motivate the child enough? Are we able to make the child enough self motivated to feel that yes, I can learn this, and yes, I would like to learn this. Right? And how you create that feeling that I would like to learn. Because once they like to learn, then forget the marks. Right? Marks, I may score 70%, 80%, 90%, whatever. But when I say I would like to learn, then it means that I'm expressing a willingness to learn. And then you will automatically learn. right? And it will go beyond just remembering something from a book to actually understanding what is being taught in the classroom. Now, coming to specific comments. See, one thing um, uh, what uh, Bini Ma'am brought up, very interesting, is that teachers don't make it fun, right? Uh, do we weave a story for the children? Can we uh, create something where the children uh, feel that it's a game, but you know they are actually developing problem-solving skills? And that's very, very important because uh, from primary to middle school, the fun just stops abruptly, right? So it's like the children were having so much fun after summer vacation, fifth standard summer vacation, they come back and they're like, Ye main kis mein aa gaya? what is happening now? Right? And that's where this whole problem starts. Ki ye subject mujhe pasand nahi hai because this subject has taken away my fun. Right? So I think one of the ways uh, what we have done is that uh, you know we have created a series of competitions, a series of uh, courses even where what we have done is that instead of saying that you are doing maths, 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 we have given a different flavor to it all. So for example, one of the courses we have is on data science and we say this is mathematical foundations of data science. But what we actually make them do is we talk about a cricket match and we say that there is an India Australia cricket match happening. And normally if they play in this stadium, India has 70% chances of winning. India has won seven out of 10 matches. So who do you think is more likely to win? Now they're applying the concept of probability, but we are not telling them that you are applying probability. We are just saying, who do you think is more likely to win? Next, we start adding some variables. So we say that this is the temperature, this is the humidity. Now, if the temperature reaches here, it is likely to rain. So, you know, and when it rains, the probability changes to this. And then we give them a few series of temperatures and say that at which temperature, the probability of Australia winning is more likely. So now they have to start thinking about temperature, about probability, about you know addition, subtraction, how it affects uh, you know the the atmospheric situation. It's all math. We are not telling them you are doing math. We are just giving them all these variables and showing them how change in each variable is going to affect the outcome of a match. At the end of it, we tell them that look, you predicted the outcome of a cricket match using the concepts of data handling, using the concepts of probability, using the concepts of statistics. We never taught you statistics. You used it by yourself. right? And when we do it in this way, the children find the fun in it. They find that, yes, this is very interesting. So I think that's one way of making that uh, you know, uh, whole process very engaging for the child. right? The other thing which uh, which Avni sir brought up, which was also very interesting, especially because I'm also a great fan of Joe Bowler, and you know she keeps talking about this growth mindset, right? So when you talk about growth mindset, uh, we say that not encourage children to make mistakes, but do not penalize them for making mistakes, right? The idea is that we don't say that you are wrong, but but we say that wrong has happened, no problem, right? Let's fix it. That's the idea. So if we want to do that. Now, this is what happens in the typical classroom. Ki one, 
the first row children are the ones who are always answering who are always raising their hands the last row children are the ones who are always having the most fun in the class so to speak right they are talking among themselves wo apna kuch karte rehte hain so these are the two groups of children who are actually in some way enjoying the class the children who are sitting in the middle they are neither raising their hands they are not answering questions unless they are pointedly asked something by the teacher and they are definitely not asking doubts so these are the children who need that most attention and they are not getting that attention so this is where again technology can play a very very important role so amrita ma'am talked so much about technology now one very important aspect of technology is that it is one to one right so where the app can become your your own teacher so if you make a mistake the app is not going to tell you that hey you made a mistake you are stupid right it's it's just going to say looks like you made a mistake let's see where you made a mistake let's fix it and let's try again you make a mistake again it will say the same thing it will not say at the 10th time also that i am frustrated with you and i think that's a very very important aspect because then the child starts to feel that yes there is somebody who is kind of here to guide me without judging me without telling me that i am i am wrong or that i am stupid right more than i am wrong there is nobody to say that you are stupid because you are making mistakes it is always guiding you and taking you in a certain direction and then there was this other point which came up which was that you know how to uh, you know the teachers are being asked or the students are being asked to mug up mathematics paranjit ma'am said that you know they write on the board and you know you ask the children to just copy it and that's a big problem right because they are just trying to remember in fact i have experienced this myself that if i am copying something from the board what my teacher has written and the teacher is moving on and i missed it i panic right i immediately ask my neighbor ki bhaiya kya likha mujhe bata mujhe jaldi bata mujhe dusra question aaye uske pehle mujhe ye question copy karna hai so i am now struggling between that next question being written on the board and copying the question from my friend who hopefully has written down the every steps correctly and if he has made a mistake then a bigger problem for me so this is the situation how do we fix this how do we make it interactive and participative for the child so one of the things for example that we have done is that uh, when we give this whole learning plan for the child one is that we customize it we determine what are the learning gaps of the child what are the conceptual gaps of the child what are the skill gaps of the child and they get a very specific learning plan now that way we start at the level where the child is rather than saying that every child has to be at the same level this is the line and if you are below too bad you know i can't help you that should not be the case we have to bring that line down and say okay for you this is the line let's start from here and for somebody else maybe the line is here and let's start from there so we have to do that one and secondly then how do we make it very participative for the child instead of saying that i am writing everything on the board so in essence i am broadcasting everything and jo tumhare dimag mein gaya wo gaya jo nahi gaya wo chala gaya right that should not be the case so what we do is that you know when we have the learning content we keep asking questions back and forth and the questions are designed in a way where they feel that they are discovering the concept rather than simply saying that i am giving you the knowledge i'm saying that can you discover something so for example one simple thing we did was that we said that you go to buy something for 18 rupees which is the nearest currency note that you will use in order to pay for this is it a 20 rupee note is it a 50 rupee note is it a 100 rupee note and the child if they pick 20 rupee note we then lead them to the concept of estimation and rounding off because that's what you're doing you're rounding off 80 rupees to the nearest 20 rupee or the nearest currency note so then we say that the same idea you take it to rounding off to tens hundreds thousands it's the same concept so this way they feel that oh acha aisa hota hai rounding off mujhe samajh mein aa gaya when they feel that then that confidence comes that i can learn on my own they become those self learners so the idea is that we create that path for them to become self learners and to become confident self learners so basically the idea is that ultimately we want them to develop confidence we want them to have fun while they are learning and we also want in some way the teacher involvement to happen which i have not yet touched upon but you know the idea is that after doing all of this how can we involve the teachers as well right so when the children go through this learning process we also capture a lot of data and we give that to teachers and say these are the learning outcomes very specific learning outcomes that children are not meeting so now you can sit one on one with the child and say that this is where the gap is you can show it to the parents also right now we are not simply saying that isko integers hi nahi aata 
इंटीजर्स में क्या नहीं आता है लेट्स ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट एंड देन पॉइंट इट आउट टू दाइल्ड इन से ये देखो ये तुमको ये नहीं आ अदरवाइज यू कीप गिविंग द सेम प्रॉब्लम दे कीप मेकिंग द सेम मिस्टेक्स सो यू नो वी इन्वॉल्व द टीचर्स इन दैट वे एंड दैट वे द टीचर्स आर पार्ट ऑफ दैट होल लर्निंग प्रोसेस so that that's a good thing sir because when the kids they are not able to understand inside the class uh, they can any time at their comfort 24 into 7 they can you know studied from the app teacher also it is not one to one even he and the gadget will be there wherever the child is making mistake that that uh, you know that app will tell him where you are wrong yeah. this thing it good sir so but one very small question one more last two years of pandemic children did not study at all all the papers were been done by the google baba so talking about mathematics they had a lot of gap because sciences and every other subject social studies everything they can they can cover up but two years they didn't did mathematics very properly and uh, especially about the middle schools as we take example 6 7 he was during the pandemic and he is in 8th grade now of the concepts of the 6th and 7th are not clear because online class were going on attending not attending it was the uh, google and all you know all the network did all the papers so how are you bridging this gap of knowledge of the students especially uh, uh, during these last two years they had so you right uh, we saw that knowledge deficit in fact if you uh, have really observed this knowledge deficit is not just specific to pandemic even after summer holidays you know dashera holidays christmas holidays jab bhi 10 din ki chutti leke bachche aate hain they had is a backward slide right and summer holidays obviously is a bigger backward slide so what we have done is that the way we have created our diagnostic assessments is that when somebody is not able to solve let's say a 7th grade problem then we ask them a question on a related concept from 6th grade and if they are not able to solve that then we go backwards so that way what happens is that we are able to go to that point where they are that misconception actually started and then the learning that we give them starts from that level instead of going to the 7th grade now this is again another typical classroom problem right the teacher does not have the time to go back to that 6th grade 5th grade and all and say that ki mai tumko ye 5th grade wala sikhati hu because just not enough time they have to move forward they cannot move backward to 5th grade and all that so again here if we are able to identify that misconception then we can fill the gap so you know with software it's very easy because you know you have lot of data that you capture and using that data we are able to identify that this was a related topic we ask a question from that topic and go back as much as needed and then start filling the gap from that level wonderful sir wonderful that is very important and is a very best thing because the teacher may say ki you are asking again and again to so you are stupid i mean they will get exhausted but a machine cannot get exhausted even you can ask again and again and because you know we also when we are doing something work we want concentration when at their comfort they can study 24 into into 7 any time and we had been seeing students they do not ask questions in the class we in our times we used to ask it will be right or wrong if you are answering also it will be right or wrong but, but they have this in their mind kiriya sa mazak udayenge mara let's not like class dance so this is very wonderful thing that will you know bridge up the gap of the learning with the students have even from the daily uh, daily uh, working also thank you so much sir thank you so much we'll come up to the next round and i request all the guests that we are in short of time to keep your answer very precise to 60 seconds one minute i'll come up to bini ma'am first bini ma'am uh, we will like to know your views on the saying that it is often seen that the children try to learn mathematics instead of understanding it because it take it as a same as the other subjects are so what are the views on that one 60 seconds so sorry i will take 2 minutes uh first and foremost it all boils down to teachers when we say it is a good teachers the teacher has to make himself a part of the student that means he has to he has to make the student understand that he also was a student he made many faults and what were his challenges when he became a teacher and did he do well earlier what made him change now if you really look into it a teacher is the one who actually motivates a student now when we come back to um the students it is always said it is a teacher who makes the students the student should the teacher should be like a google map as vimal said always always said that the google auntie tells you you're going wrong let's come back to it now that it's it's the student says 
that okay ma'am i do not understand the way you are teaching can you make me understand the way i want to teach in fact that is the biggest challenge which has to be overcome the teachers are only facilitators in today's world they are not actually the know all powerful people of gurus of yesterdays secondly the more other most important part which is again uh, associated with teachers we say english is not important ab maths kar lo ya english bachcho ko aata hai maths kar le chahiye but do you think don't you think it's a language which is the most important and most challenging had sir bina english, english ma'am bina english, english ke to bina english ke to maths bhi nahi kar payenge that's exactly what i'm saying agar bacche ko understanding hi nahi ho raha hai they cannot understand what is written how are they going to solve that problem so we have to first instead of focusing on maths start focusing on your language skills the moment the child understands the question half his battle is already won and third let me come back to another very challenging point is tuitions when our children come to third and fourth the parent do not know maths so said tuition laga dete hain now look at a child ek school attend karta hai then he goes to another school ek teacher se padhta hai same concept is taught by another teacher what do you think a child is juggling somewhere he cannot understand the concept and how do we put the child at a wrong wo bechara kya kare uski galti nahi hai the it's a teachers who cannot make the student understood the teachers are not being able to win over the students the parents are like an axe to this child and the the tuitions are just a face wash we should let the children grow in their own environment what we are doing in the school like we would say we i would like the children to be concentrating on peer group learning peer group learning is a very important factor and i have seen children have been doing remarkably well where peer group teaching and learning is concerned because aap kehte ho na ek bachcha nahi khada hota ye jab char bacche khade hote hain ma'am humko samajh nahi aaya so it's a it's a congregation they are not afraid to say hame samajh nahi aaya and the concept clarity is there because the teacher has time to make them understand because the peers are learning a group is learning something so this is one thing which i feel is very important and my last uh, talk is why are we making so much of uh, you know demon of maths jisko samajh aa raha and who thinks there's a future in it should be concentrating on higher maths and there should be another thing which is called the lower maths or the basic maths which everybody a person like me who is an artist happen to be an artist is doing it but i know how to go about it i know my my alphabets i know my foundations i know how i, I can improve on it so that is it let's not make maths uh, uh, such a big you know um, forbidden fruit let us make it something and teacher should say it is one of the most easiest subject try it and i am with you and on that note the children will always do well that's wonderful ma'am wonderful uh, we'll come up to paranjit ma'am paranjit ma'am in 60 seconds your views on the same thing that why they should try to learn mathematics instead of understanding it i'm sorry but yeah i it was for me yes yes ma'am yeah okay so uh, wonderfully spoken by ma'am and indeed we all can understand that yes mathematics is uh, made a demon but then still i'll say i'll come back to my point is sabse easiest subject hota hai maths aur isme aisa kuch bhi nahi hai jo koi seekh nahi sakta hai sirf 8th tak agar hum bacche ko channelize kar lete hain i mean his energies and his uh, way of growing is channelized properly through special mediums i mean through the teachers of course उसको अगर हम प्रॉपरली चैनलाइज करते हैं उसकी लर्निंग को आई एम श्योर एट तक हमें थोड़ा सा उसको गाइड करना पड़ता है और नाइन्थ ऑनवर्ड्स वो खुद कर पाता है एक्चुअली ओनली बिग थिंग अबाउट दी अबाउट दिस एंटायर इशू इज दिस कि उस एक मैथमेटिक्स को इतना ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट बना दिया गया है कि बाकी चीजें लोग भूल चुके हैं और एक इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट और बोलूंगी सर मैं हिंदी में बात इसलिए कर रही थी कि सर अपनी लैंग्वेज में सिखाइए मैथमेटिक्स आ जाएगी बड़ा मेरा विश्वास है कि अपनी भाषा में अगर हम एक सब्जेक्ट को समझते हैं तो वो सब्जेक्ट बहुत अच्छे से समझ में आता है नहीं आ रहा है समझ मैथ्स कोई बात नहीं हिंदी में पढ़ाइए क्या जरूरत है क्यों क्यों तो अपना है हमें किसी एक लैंग्वेज को बच्चे के ऊपर जब वो हमारा बच्चा जो की एक एनवायरमेंट में बड़ा हुआ है विच इज 
स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी आई थिंक अगर हम उसे हिंदी में मैथ पढ़ाएंगे शायद वो बेहतर समझ पाए ऐसा भी तो हो सकता है ना Say same thing. You can teach a little language. The yeah. thing should be understand, uh, understandable yes. to the student. The concept should be clear. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. We'll come up. Yes, ma'am. Avni, sir, we'll come up to you. Avni, sir, your views on the saying that blending learning has helped the children to grow in a better way. Uh, sir, in the last two years, teachers teaching from their school at home, students are learning from at home, and Number of teachers who don't know how to use mobile, they have learned how to use mobile. Number of the students who don't have the smartphone, they have purchased the smartphone. And now what we have seen that teachers and students are user friendly of we can say online learning as well as offline learning. Robot. So this is the situation that we learn learning to the mobile. Online learning, we have learned. People say that fifty percent children are not learning. I understand, but fifty percent children are learning also. You see, number of students those who are at home, they have tried to learn and they learned also. So, what is what we are seeing? Using this mobile friendly, students know how to use mobile. There are a lot of mathematical apps on Google, through which children are. Learning a lot of new things. I have seen inquisitiveness is developed now, and they are learning more and more things which teachers are unable to teach in the class. They are learning from the Google, new ways, new things. They are playing mathematical games also. Like I am a, I am a good player of Sudoku. Every night before sleeping, I am playing one Sudoku game on my mobile. So until I don't play, I don't sleep. That's why I am telling children. Sometimes teachers also. Sometimes other than their subject, other than their their topic, teach some other thing. Or let we have a quiz in math. Team A, Team B, Team C, different questions, different mm -hmm. solutions. Let children should create interest. So now what we are saying, blended learning is very good because children are user friendly of the mobile, user friendly of the technology, and they are learning a lot of other things which teachers. Are unable to teach in the class due to shortage of the time. They have to teach the syllabus. There are pressure. There is the examination. That during this time you have to finish the syllabus. So now what we have seen, children themselves are using Google and learning a lot of other things which are not in the book, which teachers are not teaching in the classes. That's all. <coughs> wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. We will come up to Amrita, ma'am. Now, Amrita, ma'am, your also uh, answer is precise. That blending and blending learning has helped the children to grow in a better way. Yes, sir. Uh, according to me, yes, blended learning actually is a mixture of uh, learning methods. It's a mixture of learning methods, and that uh, incorporate uh, multiple teaching models, most frequently and traditional face to face. That sir was exactly saying one to one. Uh, there has to be so it's a face to face learning. Blended learning is a natural development. Uh, to the growing accessibility of e-learning online resources and the continued needs of a human component in the learning experience it actually approach uh, and ensures approaches and ensures that the learner is engaged and uh, driving his or her individual learning experience the this approach also helps uh, cater to the individual needs of the learner most students have unique learning style and we know this that we all are having our you know, all teachers are having most unique uh, teaching methodology as students are also having their own unique learning style also and a blended blended approach is most likely to cater to those needs than a traditional teaching experience according to me teachers uh, content knowledge teachers methodology teachers friendly behavior and most important when teacher will give confidence to their student that whatever i am teaching you you are going to get it i will teach you in the your ease way and you will i will make you learn and i will make you understand in um, whatever i am teaching you and you will come to understand and 
right. uh, teacher has to give them confidence also yes you can do anything if you will right. just focus on those uh, chapters whatever we are teaching focus is very right, important thing i must use this word sir because nowadays this word actually has gone uh, from the class students are having their multiple tasks in their mind and whenever they are they are reading or they are they are understanding the concept they are understanding other things also so focusing and uh, content knowledge of teacher definitely create a different aura in the mathematics class and right, right. Uh, students will definitely learn anything whatever the teacher will teach them thank you sir. thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much ma'am neema sir will come up to you first of all uh, as an expert for the second round you like to say something and please let us know for the working of the teachers like you told us that how are they giving the exercises and correction and the whatsapp or something group you told us earlier also please explain that sir sure sir so i think uh, here we talked about blended learning quite a bit and the only thing i would like to add to this whole thing is that when it comes to technology and when we talk about blended learning there are two very different aspects of it one is that when we say blended learning you know we can talk about videos and different kinds of games and uh, things like geogebra and so on and so forth right that is technology somehow getting integrated but what i believe is that we are now at a stage where we are ready to take it to the next level and what is that next level next level is that there should be a single source of truth of the data available to the teacher so when you do the blended learning in a very uh, unstructured way so let's say today you give a kahoot quiz and tomorrow you do something on geogebra and next day you ask them to look at a video then what happens is that we are not able to see all the data together as to what the children have achieved and because of that what happens is that it just becomes a, a one more activity that you are doing right it does not become a real teaching learning tool for the teacher so the idea should be and this is where the technology is taking education to the next level that we are able to capture data every step of the way through the child's learning process and by doing that we are able to track the progress of the child we are able to see when the child is going up and down and obviously we are able to relate it to the overall progress of the class as well right so we know how effective the teacher has been throughout the class is that performance or is the learning improving is it not improving in what areas it is not happening and that can happen when you have that single source of data right when you have that then you are able to track it throughout the learning journey throughout that academic year and throughout multiple academic years you know where things are going and that is the best way of actually integrating technology in the classroom right so we are not simply talking about uh, you know when we say blended learning that aaj ek video dikha diya smart board pe kuch dikha diya it's going much much farther than that and that's where it comes to uh, the question you asked me sir that how do we make it simple for the teacher right so when we talk about all these things so it can become very overwhelming ki teachers start feeling ki itna sab tum humse karwa rahe ho to main apna kaam kab karu when do i do the teaching of course the teacher's job is to teach so why are you making me do all this technology and integration and data so one thing that we also realized when we started doing this whole thing for the teachers is that we created a very simple homework module and we said that you know you assign the homework to children when they solve the problems as part of the homework we will capture the data we will give you the data we will tell you what the learning outcomes have been met what are not being met what are the skill gaps and then again another barrier came that this means that we have to log in to somewhere and we have to then you know assign the homework then we have to come back and we have to look at the data so ye to kaam badh hi gaya so that's when we decided that we have to make it even more simpler so what we did was we integrated whatsapp with everything because that's the most uh, in a way if you see uh, the most prevalent education technology as well right the teachers have been sending out assignments on whatsapp teachers have been sending out videos on whatsapp all of that they have been doing so we said why don't we actually use this in a more effective way so what we did was that now uh, in some of the schools where we have implemented counting well the teachers have fixed friday as like a counting well homework day so then what we do is on friday morning we send a whatsapp message to the teachers that you know your next homework is ready or today is your homework day here is your reminder on whatsapp itself they just tap assign homework and they just see four steps or four different options pick a chapter 
pick a concept within the chapter pick your section if you are teaching multiple sections otherwise don't even do that and just pick the due date for the homework and say assign and the homework gets assigned to children children get a whatsapp message so even the parents know that there is a homework which is waiting for them children get regular reminders and when the homework is done the teacher gets a message back saying so many children have completed here is your report it's all on whatsapp so you don't have to log in anywhere you cannot say that i didn't have the time to go and check or do anything because all the data is coming to you right. and you know that makes your process very easy so that so that means that it uh, reduces the burden of the teachers not to make assignments not to do the correction of the assignment at the very same time the app is also telling the student where you're getting wrong at the very same time they're coming to know that where the children are lacking so they have can focus on the teaching and the remedial classes for the students yes. the, their time their time will be saved that is very good so a very small question and a very big question also for you for the last uh, the last question ki parents se abhi bhi to humne mobile chhodwaya tha bachchon se ab fir aap pakdane ke liye keh rahe hain app ke app ke zariye wo sara sara din leke baithe rahenge to hum kaise isko use kare yeah what so, do you say about this sir uh there is there we created a solution for that as well because this was the exact problem which came up right especially immediately after pandemic teachers came up with the same problem parents so matlab they have actually you know vengefully snatched away the phones from their children because for two years they've been watching their children always sitting on the phone not knowing what is going on you know on phones laptops whatever so this is the time when they have had that opportunity to pull it back so what we did was that the way we have created our whole content structure is we have broken down full uh, year of maths learning into multiple learning outcomes it it translates to nearly 300 learning outcomes per year and what we are able to do is once we break it down that way for each learning outcome we have a 5 to 7 minute learning module not more than that so then what we do is when we create that whole learning plan for the child we just give them 3 to 4 learning outcomes per day which means that they are spending only about 20 minutes per day so that's what we say that you learn your maths in 20 minutes a day because in 20 minutes you will achieve those three four learning outcomes and then we will stop we will say no more today ab aap kal aa jao so that way we are restricting the screen time the amount of time they are spending and this is not just to satisfy the parents the other thing is of course that we know that children also have very limited attention span right 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 you know one hour of learning wo ko ek ghanta padhne wale nahi hai nahi you know, sir actually the good about this 20 minutes concept is that you know that students they will uh, of course the concentration time is not more than if you give a 30 35 minutes or 40 minutes period in the class after 20 or 25 minutes their concentration goes away in the class is also when we were teaching also now we look at that also so 20 minutes concept uh, they will not get bored also ke me kar kar ke bahut ab thak gaye hain and when they are doing 3 to 4 concepts every day with a short span of time their mathematics will be very perfect because we have seen teachers ke five to six exercises they can do it one day also they are so superman the teachers they go into the class they solve one or two questions of each exercise to pata chala two regular period the aaj ke din mein four exercises khatam ho gayi so there there the child is getting nothing but here when the small doses when the maths is going with the clarity of the concepts every day and the parent is also knowing ki beta you can't fool me after 20 minutes you are not going to use that because it is over now that is a very good thing sir a wonderful thing we have created sir counting well and sir is uh, you know uh, uh, having so many type of competitions also on the courses which are going regularly according to the you know the syllabus going on in, in all the schools like in pt1 uh, two chapters have been done everywhere on that taking test just now there was ramanujan i think uh, competition was over there one of the school got a seven fit trophy everything he is doing it free of course a seven fit trophy was given just to motivate the children am i right sir yes sir so it was called maths premier league and interestingly there was a school in baroda which won this trophy right so we talk about small towns wahan kya padhai hoti hai but you know very very interesting and great group of teachers as well and sir what is this logo sir f written in high yeah, side the financial literacy so this is what we have right now which is uh, a challenge on financial literacy so there we show them how the maths they learn in the classroom links with personal finance right things with things right. like, like ma'am was saying yeah exactly you go to the go to the shop and spend the money and you just let me know that how much money you spent it right. how much is left likewise very good that's wonderful sir a wonderful thing you have created i think this should be taken to the whole of the india because this is a very chronic problem 
we are knowing mathematics we may be the teacher of mathematics but it is happening widely that there is a phobia of mathematics was and is already going on with that but with the help of technology and ai based tools which you people have created it will be a very good help to the schools and financially also because you are giving free of cost that will also be very helpful to us thank you so much sir coming up to the last 5 to 10 minutes of the show uh, which we have the culture of the show is that before leaving it is a me time and everyone present here or in the show has to sing two lines so uh, we can start up with we can start up with uh, avni sir gentlemen uh thanks to all educationists that we have discussed a lot of good things and i hope teachers those who are listening the students those who are listening thing they will be beneficial with this that blended learning how to be how to use this like mr nirmal shah said that 20 minutes daily we have to do so this is the good observation and i hope teachers and student will be benefit with this talk show thank you sir this is me time sir every participant has to sing two lines of a song it may be filmy it may be hindi it may be religious patriotic anything so sir we are requesting you that this thing should from today for today show you to start it sir avni sir kisi kisi apne favorite song ki do lines sir me time we shall overcome we shall overcome one day this only i can say we shall overcome we shall matlab hum honge kamyab ek din sure sir we will we will get kamyab sir thank you thank you so much sir uh paramjit kaur ma'am is a very good singer i know it very well मैम कुछ आपके तो अंदाज ही अलग है सुनाने के तो और थोड़ा सा सुना देगी मैं बहुत अच्छा लगेगा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर इनवाइटिंग अस इट वाज अ वंडरफुल टॉक फ्रॉम ऑल द आई मीन ऑल द एजुकेशनिस्ट एंड आई पर्सनली यू नो आई रियली लाइक द वे यू नो वी स्पोक अबाउट मैथमेटिक्स एंड देयर इज सो मच टू डू फॉर दैट और तो आप को कौन सा गाना सुना दो सर देयर आर सो मेनी व्हिच यू आई थिंक ऑफ or uh, any 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 of your favorite song ma'am any of your I'll, i'll i'll uh, i'll try to sing this kab tak chup baithe ab to kuch hai bolna kuch tum bolo kuch hum bole dholna so you know adding so much to life i'm sure ki hum aur aap dono log bolenge tabhi hum apne bachchon ke liye kuch khaas kar payenge thank you so much bilkul bilkul thank you so much ma'am wonderful wonderful uh, amrita ma'am over to you sir thank you so much sir firstly for this wonderful platform and uh, really uh, we all are uh, educators and educators ka kaam hota hai khushboo phailana aur apne knowledge ke ko duniya mein likhe na to mere liye mera favorite song hai madhuvan khushboo deta hai sagar savan deta hai जीना उसका जीना है जो औरों को जीवन देता है मधुवन खुशबू देता है विद ऑल दी थैंक यू सो मच वंडरफुल मैम सो ब्यूटीफुल वॉइस यू हैव मैम वी आर टॉकिंग टू इंडियन आइडल पीपल टू स्टार्ट अप अ सीजन टू स्टार्ट अप अ सीजन ओनली फॉर द एजुकेशनिस्ट and believe me if not finalist quarter finalist or already you are going for there man for sure paranjit ma'am you also ma'am uh, we'll come up to bini ma'am ever smiling and you know you know wo jiske gana hai na mujhse mera to usse hai pehle ka nata koi yu hi nahi koi muskurata koi na na chane tu na jaane mai kuch aisa lagta hai sir ma'am aap se milke to aisa lagta hai ki aise saalo saal se jante hain you are such a wonderful person and a wonderful human being Okay, it is. It's a pleasure knowing you, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Please, थोड़ा कुछ सुना दीजिए, ma'am. आज. Ma'am, please. You're on mute, mute ma'am. Bindi, ma'am, please. You're on mute, mute, ma'am. You're on mute, ma'am. So, uh, thank you. It was so lovely to be on this show among these eminent uh, educationists and Chandok ji. It was a really pleasure. And you have a lot of hidden talent. I can see it in every conversation of yours. So we have to explore you more now. uh one last line about uh, the topic i would like to say all of us have a subject which is a favorite and you know why because that teacher was a favorite 
and though that teacher is the one who made that uh, happen so we should all become make every subject you know teacher likable so that the children live up to their futures in a very positive way so a song as you said let me sing um अजीब दासता है ये कहा शुरू कहा खत्म ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम so i hope we understand each other and we move forward wonderful ma'am hidden talent ma'am your hidden talent ma'am hidden <laughs> hidden talent hidden talent <laughs> Nirmal sir, your chance, sir. Nirmal sir, your chance, sir. Okay, so. <laughs> sir, a Gujarati me. I think you are a Gujarati. I am Gujarati. Yes, ma'am. So a Gujarati song. Oh my God, <laughs> that is going to be tough. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll try a Gujarati song. I I don't think I'll sing it in tune. So you are welcome to leave while I'm singing. But anyway. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> पंखीड़ा ने पिंजरू जूनू जूनू लागे बहुए समझ तो पंखी नव पिंजरू मांगे थैंक यू कैन यू ट्रांसलेट सर सो इट सेज दैट देर इज अ बर्ड एंड इट इज इट्स अ वेरी फिलोसॉफिकल सॉन्ग बेसिकली बट इट बेसिकली सेज दैट देर इज अ बर्ड एंड इट इज tired of the cage that it is living in and you know, we told the bird a lot that we stay back but it wants a new cage what it really translates to is that how you know uh, when we leave our body we look for something else so it is just that you know once we are done with our life we are ready for the next stage of the life wonderful the truth of life that truth of life that's wonderful that's wonderful sir that's wonderful that's wonderful sir Uh, thank you ji, so much. The Tanjuk ji, the one you said a few lines. We want you to sing it also. Uh, okay, ma'am, I'll sing a song for uh, what we had it to this today, and we are going to leave each other after two minutes. So I just sing for you and all of you. Aane wala pal, jaane wala hai. आने वाला पल जाने वाला है हो सके तो इसमें जिंदगी बिता दो पल जो ये जाने वाला है हो आने वाला पल थैंक यू सो मच एक्सलेंट सर एक्सलेंट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच बिनी मैम थैंक यू सो मच परमजीत मैम थैंक यू अवनी सर थैंक यू निर्मल सर थैंक यू अमृता मैम i hope you had a good time today and hope to see you in another season and another session very soon thank you so much i will share the contact details with each of one of you so that you may be be in contact with each other thank you so much okay bye bye thank you thank you thank you thank you so much